Hello YouTube, Shadow Hero 90 here. This is a new series I'm going to be doing called Sexism in Movies and TV. You see, the reason I do this is not because there's just sexism in the shows that I watch, but a lot of fictional characters kids see as role models and want to grow up to be like them and although I don't really have a list of actual jerks well every boy needs a good role model and this is really more of a list of fictional jerks that without a good role model well a lot of young boys could grow up to be just like And since we don't want any of, well, not just American youth, but the children of any country or gender to grow up to be like, well, real live versions of the jerks on that list, that's why I'm doing this series and essentially pointing out double standards hypocrisy and how many TV shows and movies have degenerated into piles of misandric garbage. Note, I do like certain shows. I like most of the shows on this list and it's not so much a as a criticism. Well, it kind of is, but there are parts where these shows need to be improved. Loud House, the cartoon that wants to be a comic strap. Well, that's trying to be a comic strap. This is the episode Sound of Silence, and unlike its sister episode, Undie Pressure, all Lincoln wants to do is read comic books in his room even if it's in his underwear now he's not going to be able to do that because of his ten deranged sisters as you can see here and here 
They had even forced him out of his own room. Basically, to anyone who hasn't seen the show, Lincoln actually needs his room. As the premise of the show, he's a boy living in a house with ten sisters, so he basically needs his space. And I kind of get this weird, weird feeling that if it was a girl with ten brothers, this episode would never have been made. So Lincoln just spends all his money on noise be gone, so well, earplugs to cancel out the lunatics he lives with, but they eventually find out what he had been doing. And so now he can finally read comic books in peace, but apparently he can't have that. He just wants a little peace and quiet to read comic books. And because of this, the sisters feel he needs to learn a lesson by pulling a prank on him that resolves in him getting beaten up, humiliated, used as a goddamn footstool, and some and somehow brainwashed into thinking this little bitch is going to do something horrible to him. In all fairness, this really was a bad episode, and there probably should be a sequel to this where Lincoln gets back at them, but I'll address that later. Oh, and the Loud Girls... Well, the th reason that they think this is all justified is because Lincoln's their brother and you can't tune out family. Which is really... I mean, yeah, that is very low. And basically teaches boys that if you ever want to enjoy any of your hobbies, then bad things will happen to you. So the episode ends with Lisa's experiment, which Lincoln thought was part of the prank, blows up, and they all end up deaf. It's not really an ironic punishment, because Lincoln gets loses his hearing as well. Now, I actually think they could do a Nickelodeon, if they wanted to, and our listening probably should do a a sequel to this where Lincoln gets even with his ten deranged rotten sisters for pulling this prank and here's how you do I'll go from oldest to youngest Lori well in this sequel to get to, to get his payback for that prank Lincoln would just destroy Lori's relationship with her boyfriend, Bobby. Basically, in the sequel, Lincoln would get back at Lenny by probably just taking advantage of her stupidity and getting rid of all her clothes, except for whatever she's wearing, or just get her banned from the mall.